All right, where are we at? I don't even remember. Deactivate we are at the, the jamming Coventry symbol. GCR Tower. GCR was a stand for good, cool, <laughs> really nice guy. Really nice guys. <laughs> I didn't know what to say there. No, I, I, I did, but I, I can't. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> where do we go? I don't know. We actually. came in that way. Yeah. So yeah. I think you go through the doors. Turn on detective mode. Oh, those doors open? Yeah, oh, you're you kidding, go. dude. There it's all time. There you go. Perfect. Hey, and we're playing in 1440p now. Look at my... I know. It looks great, man. So it should look better, and it should look better in the recording now. Drop smoke pellets to conceal. Yeah. We're not playing in 4K because I don't have 4K monitors because these already cost 500 bucks a piece for good 1440p. Is it insane right how expensive they are? It's outrageous. Ugh. How does it cost that much? A TV doesn't cost that much. I don't know. They're really expensive, actually, monitors, because they're so responsive and, like, for gaming, basically. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I mean, that makes sense, but it's crazy, though, right? Like, that seems insane. Oh, I agree. It's It it costs more money than I think it's worth, but I bought it because I, I love games. Right. Well, yeah, of course. That's about it. You go in through the grate. Ah, uh, yes. It's like I haven't played this game in forever. I know, and I'll probably know a lot more of this one because I played it recently. That will just oh, that looked good. To safety. Oh, that looked good. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, right. oh, I will. I like how everybody you help though is just like literally terrified of you. I know. <laughs> well, that's what I like too. They don't know who you are, so they're just freaking out. This psycho is bashing people's skulls in like that. Yeah, dressed as a bat. I can, I can fix right. the tower. Ooh, dark <sighs> We'll okay. have to keep an eye out for those and probably just do them as we as we go if you want. Oh, we definitely they, will. They tie into progression in terms of unlocking stuff. Oh, they do? Okay. Yeah. Wait, Unfortunately, we... that's the worst part of this game is the Dark Knight challenges. They're kind of a grunt. Well, that is an Enigma challenges in my opinion. Here, turn on uh, Detective Mode. I'm trying to remember if you... Uh, yeah, there's still one hostile, so he will be up there. Is it in the... Egg? Ah, here we go. Okay, okay. Down. Ah, oh, the hanging! Yes! Tap, the Tactile. tutorial part of the game. I'm a big fan. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, you're... Why didn't you do the ledge take down? You that know, was a I... Dark Knight challenge right <laughs> there. I know, I messed up, man. We'll, we'll, we'll get him next time. I'm really not worried about it. I am. What? I'm really upset, actually, no. about that. That was Why? terrible. Why? Let's just point out I'm not playing. You're playing right now. Okay. So that any mistake that's made is put on you. What? I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out where. Oh, here we I go! By identifying the victim. Yeah, this is the first crime scene in the game. This probably. is the game that does that the best. I was gonna say this is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Oh, for sure. If not my favorite. The victim's name is they David. They nailed Shane, this. Gotham Optics yeah. employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. They did a much better job of this than Knight did. Oh, agree. And yeah. uh, a billion times better than City, by the way, <laughs> yeah, or, know, or Asylum. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. Oh. Yeah, no access to it. I don't understand oh. why. Weird. There's a couple in this game like that. It is odd. There's one out by, um... Oh, uh, where is it? So there's one out by uh, Crime Alley like that too. On really? The back of Monarch Theater, yeah. That's just there, but you can't go in it. I don't yeah. know why. That's just so weird. Here, uh, back. Oh, oh, I remember why. So rewind. 
Because the oh. card went in there. So rewind the thing. I forgot about rewinding. Yep. And so now, look at that. The card went in there. Into so that's, the vent. Okay. So that's why we couldn't access it. Because I was thinking, like, you have to open that up to get it. Why can't we? There we go. Okay. You're a genius. You just get it. Absolutely. Wait a second. That wasn't humble. Well, uh-oh. Am I supposed to be humble? <laughs> yeah, never mind. Forget about it. Oh, okay, good. I will. All right. <laughs> I don't want you to, though. I want you to remember this moment. Right. <laughs> this card is the code I need to Remember who the alpha is. Towers access panels. I uh, figure we'll, like, we will ignore most of the Enigma stuff. And, yes. And do a lot of that stuff after the main story. 100%. And, I mean, I don't really remember what happened. I think, I guess, I don't really remember what happened with him. But I do remember feeling that it was a giant grind to get through those things. So I feel like we might as well do them, though, and just record it. Because we can just talk about other stuff. Oh, yeah. agree. Yeah. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Yeah, don't tell him what it is. <laughs> This is like shut Alfred down the game. I know, dude. He's always mad at Alfred, and I don't know why. Oh, yeah, he is. Well, well, if it isn't the king thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery, one you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Oh, yeah? Nofly zone. Yeah. Oh, no fly zone. <laughs> Nofly <I'm> zone. <laughs> Welcome to Nofly zone. <laughs> Population, your mom. <laughs> your mother. Got her. Got him. <laughs> Suck it good. With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the bad wing. Wow. Hey, so did we talk about Red Sun Superman? Did you watch it? Oh, dude, it was so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So then I've also got a lead. Can we talk spoilers? Uh I would I would think so. I mean it's been out a while and well, let's talk non-spoilers first. Well, it's, so got, a, it's got a comic book, too, doesn't it? You know, yeah, it's, but it, it's a little different than that. Okay, okay. But well, what did That's you true. think about it in general first? It's, it's honestly, it's one of the best animated movies that have come out in a long, long time. I uh, agree. It was phenomenal. Voice acting-wise, I loved the art style. I think the uh, the story was I like time. I should head for. I figured it was going to be intense, but I did not expect it to be that intense. Like from beginning to end, it was. It had a lot of like dark themes with the gulags and I mean Stalin. So it was. I don't know. I think the, the whole plotline with Batman being in there, I didn't expect that at all because well, I've never read. The Let's swing by that crime in progress. Ooh, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, I never read the comic either. Actually, it's one of the few that like one of the few essential DC reads I've never read, which I felt a little bad about. Okay. Uh, I probably will still check it out because I know it's different in some ways, but I that looks like I love the movie. It was so good, man. Stop the crime. I I I um I guess I don't know. There the fighting in there, like the combat, was fantastic too. Um, like, I, I like watching. Uh, Superman go because it kind of felt like at times that he was just um, like, gosh, this is tough to talk about in a fight too. Yeah, so I was gonna say that I think really like the the movie itself, you're doing terrible. Yeah, it's uh, really bad. It's got like great art, good art direction. I think it's one of the few like unique looking movies that they've come out with in a long time since the new Fifty Two stuff that they've been doing. And it just felt like really real to me. I think they can do better movies when they're just not connected to each other, honestly. I don't think they need to have a universe. I think they should be able to make a competent universe. I will say that. Like, yeah, they should, should be able to. It should to. be a problem. But, but they can't, so no, they it's, should. It's a problem. And uh, I don't know. Like You look at the state of it, too. It's, it's kind of weird how they were... Whatever, dude. How they were pushing uh, Damian Wayne a lot. And... He's getting better. There were some movies more recently where I didn't hate him as much as I did at first, but gosh, I did not like that character. This was such a bad encounter. You're really bad, by the way. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Well done. Really good. It Let's see what it says. different for you. 
No, it'll just be an adjustment. I haven't played Batman that much frequently, to be honest. Or that recently. No one can hear you when you're muttering because you're back there. Because you yell all the time. You're right. It's got to be a constant state of yelling. <laughs> no. I don't know about that. It's good to be here, guys. No, no, no. I love Arkham Origins. <laughs> wow, he's not like a hostage. <laughs> yeah. Help. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Yeah, but I don't know. In terms of spoilers, like, there's a lot of kills in there that he does that are just yeah. insane. I mean, I, I don't... I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it. Do you think that Superman would be, like, cooler if he could kill? Mm, no, I don't know. I mean, I just think... Or does it depend on the universe, maybe? Yeah. It works for certain universes, but not all of them. Like, is there... This is, a, this is a dumb question, probably. Is there a character uh, in the DC universe where if Superman just let loose 100%, was fully Superman, uh, that would challenge him and give him like an actually quality fight where he could lose? Doomsday, Dark Side, both. I would say they both do. Sure. Uh, I mean, Dr. Manhattan would destroy him. Yes, he would. <laughs> like, there wouldn't even be a question about that. Dr. Manhattan would just annihilate him if they wanted to fight. Gosh, Dark Tide is a really fun villain, by the way. Really fun villain. Yeah, I mean, there are people. I mean, a lot of people, though, above Superman in power level, like, why would they fight him? Like, like someone like Eternity, like uh, CBR brought up before. Oh, sure, yeah. When would he be fighting Superman? It's just, you know, I guess the Anti-Monitor... Some just like ridiculous gods. Yeah. yeah. I'm the first one here. I need to find a. This is from the trailer. This place out unnoticed. 